Hi everyone, welcome back on Deep Matrix. In today's video, we see about how to use the two workspace block in Simulink. The two workspace block is used to move the data from Simulink block diagram to a workspace. So without any further, we'll move to the demo. I search for two workspace. Here is my block. So first we need to give a variable name. I am going to name it as output. Then we have to connect the two workspace block at the output of our system. For the demonstration purpose here I have created a closed loop transfer function. Um, before connecting the scope I have given a wire to two workspace block. I set my simulation time to 10. Now we'll, we are perfect for a run. So the program was ran. Now here you can see at workspace there are two variables created. One is uh, T out, another is output. Uh, this T out is a dot mat file. Uh, as you can see it is a 53 cross 1 matrix. Whereas this output is a 1 cross 1 double items. Uh, this output is a structure format. For the better visualization here we can print this output in the command window. As you can see this is a format of structure in MATLAB. It contain uh, two important thing. One is time. Another thing is data. The time contain the uh, simulation time. Whereas the data contain the output of our closed uh, closed loop system. Uh, we'll print this using uh, the output dot time. So MATLAB is case sensitive. So we have to give this T as a capital letter. So here is our time. It ranges from 0 to 10. Because my simulation time is 10. In order to view the output we have to type it as output dot data. So this data uh, ranges from 0 to 0.5. Uh, so but my final value is 1 right. So it is very simple. If you have visualized the scope you can get the perfect idea. Here you can see it ranges from 0 to 0 0.5. That is the exact value which we have got at the command prompt. So by doing so you can move the data from a block diagram to a workspace. This is what I tried to explain you in this video. Meet you in the next video. Until then, enjoy learning. Thank you.